to another edition of Kramer's Classic Cycles. This is a fun little project. This is a 1976 Honda XL70 I picked up recently and wound up doing a complete frame-off restoration. Um, I put a big bore kit on it, 88cc, which worked out well. But today I want to talk about an aftermarket CDI ignition, which is installed here. The puzzler with this is it came with absolutely no directions. So I'm going to show you the wiring diagram that I put together, uh, courtesy of my friend Randy Aid, electronics wizard, and also show you what the product looks like on eBay. I think these are good for all of the Honda 70s, and uh, it makes a really nice hot spark, and the Advance seems to work well too. And at less than $60, pretty amazing value. So this is what the ad looks like on uh, eBay and uh, doesn't really give you a great description. Uh, it's made in Malaysia and here are some pictures of the product. It's five wires coming out of the new stator that they send you with a lighting coil and the CDI box. Uh, the quality looks pretty good. Uh, in my video I'm not going to show the installation of the stator plate uh, there's lots of videos that show that, but uh, when I emailed the guy and asked him for wiring directions, he said, watch YouTube. None of the ones I watched on YouTube had the correct wiring sequence. So here we'll show you what it should look like. So here is the old stator plate, and you can see it's got the points and condenser. This one was working, but I think it was the original. I cut the plug off the end here, you can see. And that plug was refastened over here. So that is the female, or actually the male side of the original plug. And I put these connectors on here so that we can do a quick removal. But I made a little wiring diagram that uh, is right here. Let's zoom in on it. So if you want to freeze frame that, that gives you uh, an idea of the color coding. This, of course, is the stator right here, the CDI box, and the plug. And uh, my color coding isn't all that great, but the legend is up here with where the wires go, where they go to the coil, and then over here, a uh, legend for the color coding. But I'll quickly walk through it. So as you can see, there are five wires that come out of the new CDI unit. And basically the black wire goes to the black red wire going into the new CDI unit. And the blue wire with a white stripe goes to the blue wire with the white stripe on the CDI unit. And the rest of it gets a little tricky. Uh, the yellow wire goes to the yellow wire on the plug. The green wire with the red stripe does the same, green wire with red stripe. Uh, the white wire with red stripe goes over to here, which is actually the green wire on the bike. So again, white wire with red stripe goes to the green wire on the plug. And then one side of the plug actually comes out and goes back to the CDI. So the wire that is black up here, as you can see on the plug, comes down and goes to the black white stripe wire. It's in the diagram on the CDI. And then the final CDI wire is just a ground. And I chose to ground mine up here on the coil mount. So that is about all that's to it. If you don't run it properly, um, the bike won't turn off. And finally, one thing I did initially wrong is the initial coil plug-in wire is retained. So you don't need to change that. So you just plug the coil into the harness as normal. It makes a really nice hot spark even at low RPM. And the advanced curve also seems to work just fine on this system. Once again, there's the, the diagram. So there you have it. Fully restored 1976 Honda XL70 with the CDI all tucked back in. Uh, this was a really fun project. I actually did the paint myself. That's Luck of the Irish Green from Home Depot with 2K clear over the top and lots of buffing. 
very close to the original mighty Honda Green. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, take a look at some of the other Kramer Classic videos. Uh, we're all about preserving the old fun and having some new fun once we're done. So this is our fully restored 1976 Honda XL70 frame up restoration. We tried a couple of experimental things on this one. Uh, we just shot a video on how to install an aftermarket electronic ignition system. It works perfectly. The lights work and the timing advance works. And we also installed an 88cc cylinder head and a new carburetor. There'll be links to these products um, in the description on the video. But it turned out really well. I wanted to try the electronic ignition so you never have to deal with points again. And so far it's worked out really well and it's well under $100. Keys on, gas is on. What a fun bike. Just as much fun now as in 1976. Kramer's Classics, like and subscribe.